guys welcome back to my channel my name is Sarah subscribe down below so today I have kind of two days in my life today is Sunday and I'm gonna show you tomorrow today we just got back from town we are having my in-laws over tonight for dinner so we had to grab a few things this is our first time home um, we went home for a few hours last weekend but this is our first time staying at our house in over a month because we had people renting it so Happy to be back. Really weird to be back, but it was good. We had a really good sleep last night, so um, it's good. It's good to have hot water on, that's unlimited because in the trailer it was only like two to five minutes you got it and to have my dishwasher back. Life's little luxuries. So anyways, I'm going to show you how I make my chocolate pie and I'm going to show you the wrap I just had and um, tomorrow's meals too, so stay tuned for that. I have a mini haul for you. So this is just for the next two days and we're going back to the trailer, so we didn't need much. But I'm making dinner tonight. Um, I'm making a rice hamburger dish that I think is in a video already, so I'll link it if it is. So I need peppers. Then I'm gonna put some butter on these rolls. We wanted garlic bread, but we saw these and we're like, oh, these like warmed up with butter would be so good. So then I got a baster to put the butter on, and I've always just wanted one of these. Some bananas, a little bit of chocolate milk for Derek, um, toothpaste, an onion for the dish tonight, some sweet potatoes, five cheese dip. This is bomb. It's so good. Um, some Tostitos for the five cheese dip, and some gum. And of course, I got my new favorite, the pumpkin tea. It's so good, just black even. I drink it black, and... I love it and it's pretty cheap also. I'm gonna show you how I'm making chocolate pie, but before that, I am hangry. So I'm gonna try for the first time these protein up sea salt and crushed pepper flavored wraps. And I'm gonna put on there some garlic hummus. This stuff is really good. Um, I like it on an English muffin with eggs in the morning. So that's what I had this morning and I'm having it on this wrap. Then I'm going to be putting on some grape tomatoes because I'm going to use these up. So you're going to squirt it all, all over. Wish these would come like in half already. It's a knife. I'll get a new knife. So I'm just going to eat this, make my chocolate pie. I have to do a workout still and put those groceries away, but I'm so hungry. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do a workout and then probably start dinner and just get it ready because I don't know what time my in-laws are coming over, but they often come early and they're bringing wood for the wood stove too. So, okay, that's probably good. And some turkey. I'm gonna do like four slices of turkey. I accidentally took out too much from the freezer, so I'm gonna have to eat a lot within the next couple days. I'm also gonna be using this sweet and hot mustard. I used to eat this all the time, and then I kind of took a break from it because I got sick of it, but mustard is super good for you. Very low cal option for condiments and then I'm just gonna take a bunch of lettuce and wrap her up now that is a wrap tomatoes are falling out oh, look at that it's so good Okay, so for chocolate pie, I use this cook and serve chocolate jello, and then I put it in a microwavable bowl. I just make it in the microwave because it's so much easier than putting it in a pan on the stove, I find. So I just dump it all in there, along with three cups of milk. And then you put it in the microwave for 10 minutes, but every two minutes, um, you take it out and give it a stir. It's 
super, super easy. And you just mix it all up, throw it in for 10 minutes. So you're also gonna need a graham crust. Um, you can bake it in the oven if you want. Last time I did that, it fell apart, so I'm not gonna try that today. I'm just gonna have it like this. And then you're gonna need a pack of Cool Whip. At each container of Cool Whip can do one pie. No, two pies. So I already have used half on a previous pie, so now I have this. And I'm gonna pull it out before I even started the pie because then it has time to defrost a little bit so you can spread it easier. And you can also use the Oreo crust pie. I've done that too, so it was like double chocolate and it was so good. So pull this out before you start your pie to help let it defrost a bit and then you need your crust. Okay, so I've been taking it out and this is it after, or it was only a minute left. So it's pretty thick now. Um, I'm gonna put it on for one extra minute, but that's it. It thickens up pretty fast towards the end, so might not even need that, but I'll put it back in for the last minute and we'll see. <clears throat> so, I actually don't think it needs another minute. It's pretty thick now. I'm just going to let it cool down for probably like 5 to 10 minutes before putting it in the pie uh, crust because you don't want it to be like piping hot when you put it in there and as it cools it will also thicken a bit more okay, It's still a little bit hot, but it's been cooling so I'm just gonna dump it all in here Then you have to wait till it's way more cool to put the Cool Whip on the top. So I'm gonna let it cool on the counter for a bit before we put the Cool Whip on. Okay, so now that this is cooled, I'm gonna put some Cool Whip on top. I like to put a decent amount because, duh, it's better that way. And then you can put anything you want on top of the Cool Whip. You can leave it like this, put chocolate chips. I'm going to be putting, oh yeah, and then I just like, make sure it's spread out. I'm going to be putting um, chocolate sprinkles. These are... My husband's, that he loves them. They're Dutch. I can't remember. There's a certain word for them, I think. But my husband's Dutch, so he loves these sprinkles, and they work really well in this pie. They're the bag that's not in English, so I don't know. But I have them in a mason jar here. And then I just sprinkle them on top. And then you want to have this in the fridge for a while before you serve it, just to let it like thicken and cool. Um, but it's absolutely delicious. So you can then use the bottom of the pie tray. And then I just put it back on top. It gets a little messy, but it's worth it. Then stick it in the fridge. It's 240 now, so you probably won't have this till around six. So that'll be a good little while before we get to eat it. This makes a lot too, so it's good for a good crowd or if you want to have leftovers. Okay, so I just finished my workout and I wanted to have a glass of wine and watch some YouTube. I'm going to watch Kaylin Nicholson, either her boundaries video or... Um, why we're afraid to have conversations video and I just feel like organizing my room so or my clothes So living in the trailer this past few months has made me realize like how little we actually need to live um, And we have so much stuff we are very personally like my husband and I don't have a lot of excess stuff compared to a lot of people but I find I have a lot of clothes and I keep buying clothes because your style changes, your sh my shape changes, um, the seasons change. So I have a lot of clothes that I don't need. So I'm going to get rid of them and go through them and watch some YouTube videos. 
Monday and I have a late start to the day it's 9 39 I actually was able to sleep until um, 8 30 today which is like very unheard of for me but I did have a bit of a headache this morning so I just did that watch some YouTube for a while like back in my element so amazing and Ruger was really good he waited for me um, to be ready to go out, which is unusual for him. Usually he bothers me until I take him, but we are going to go out now. I have a coffee here, and I'm putting on my new boots that I showed you in my Costco haul. I'll show you them. They are so cute. They're like um, Blundstones, but they were $60 from Costco. Very warm, waterproof. They're just amazing. They are um, a little bit hard to get on and off, I find, but that could just be my feet. But I, other than that, like the best purchase I've made, they were, I think I said they were $60, but my, also I have my winter coat out because it's getting cold. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> other than that, I have lots to do today. And I'm just going to take it easy and try to be pr a little bit productive, but a little bit restful. I want to make a baking recipe for my fitness Instagram, and I have to print out my returns for Amazon. I'm probably going to bring those there tomorrow. I don't have a car today. Um, Derek took my car to work, and his car, that well, the truck's at the trailer still. His car is uh, standard, so... Haven't learned how to drive that yet, but I really want to. So, we are just going to hang out outside for a bit. It's so cold. <laughs> oh my gosh, if it was up to me, I'd stay inside all day. It's not the life of a dog, you cannot do that, so we're gonna embrace it. Oh my gosh, I might need a toque. So I was just gonna make eggs this morning, and then I decided to make these pancakes that I used to make all the time. So it's just, this one's so deformed. It's just two eggs, a banana, a quarter cup of oats, and then pumpkin pie spice or cinnamon, um, and some vanilla. So the first two I did really well, but I didn't spray the pan again, so I'd recommend doing that because I butchered <laughs> the last couple ones. But I need to take a picture for my Instagram, so I'm gonna put the best one on top, obviously. This is the perfect one. Okay, so there they are. I just put some strawberries around, a little bit of maple syrup, and then of course I had to top it with some light whipped cream. Oh, it's fallen off. Good thing I got my pictures already. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I am back at my desk. I haven't sat here in a while. Um, and it's cold, so I'm going to put this blanket on me. But I'm just going to do some of my emails for... I need to do my hair. Some of my emails for um, my contract that I do her emails. She's a makeup artist. So I have some emails for her to do. And um, 
sad news is that my contract is ending with her um, November 1st because she is a makeup artist for a wedding so her busy season is coming to an end so she doesn't really need to pay for it so she canceled um, probably I'm assuming she'll pick back up in May but so she's still my only contract that I have and I really like it because I understand it because I do makeup at weddings so I like understand her pricing and the important questions that you need and all that stuff so that's kind of sad um, I'm hoping to get another contract but it's really scary because you have to like relearn everything so um yeah we'll see what happens but anyways i have till the november 1st with her still and it's not a crazy amount of money that i'm making um but it is not a lot of work and it keeps me busy and i'm learning a lot so that's good um and it just gives me something to do so I'm gonna do that do some work on here um and i still need to work out and I still need to shower, wash my hair. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. I'm gonna get dyed and cut. It's driving me crazy. It's getting long, but it gets kind of unruly when it's long. So, so I get to do that tomorrow and I'm so excited. Usually twice a year, I dye it dark, like my root color, because the ends are a little bit lighter. You probably can't see, but I dye it my root color and get it trimmed. So usually in the fall and the spring. So it's coming around time and I'm getting it done by this girl that I do makeup at weddings with and she has a home salon so I'm gonna go to her salon and try her out and see how it goes. I really like her so um, I'm hoping that it looks really good and that's tomorrow. Um, I also have a doctor's call tomorrow so an update kind of on my foot is that um, I've been waiting since like my first appointment at the hospital for surgery was in January so I've been waiting eight months, no. 10 months for um, surgery and they told me it'd be a year or more so I wasn't expecting anything till at least January but you have to meet with the surgeon and then wait again and I haven't even met with him so I'm assuming it'll be like late spring early summer but um, that is in Ottawa in the big town where everything with COVID is happening and my husband's aunt got the same surgery that I need in a small town half an hour from us not even far from where I am and she got in within like a week or something of seeing the surgeon I was like what so um, I have an appointment tomorrow with my doctor to get her to refer me there and hopefully we can get that done and out of the way because COVID hasn't affected that hospital as much so they haven't paused or stopped surgeries like mine did the one that I'm referred to right now did so I'm hoping that she can get me in because even once I get the surgery it's still um, a long recovery so this is gonna be like three years of this um, if I wait at the other hospital so I'm really really praying that um, she can refer me there and that they give me answers fast compared to the other place so that would be amazing but anyways for now we're just chilling and I don't even know why I was talking about that. Oh yeah, so my doctor's appointment is tomorrow at 10. So I think I'll bring you along with me tomorrow to get my hair done um, and to do that appointment. And I'm going into Ottawa, so I'll probably do some shopping because that's literally the only thing that's making me happy right now. <laughs> no, that's a joke, but seriously, it does give me a little bit of happiness right now. Anyways, I'm gonna do this and I'll talk to you in a minute. This means that it's probably time to just take a little break because he only lasts so long right? relaxing. He's a good boy, yeah. He's a good boy. So I just got done her emails and um, I made up a quote for her for somebody. So I think it's time. Maybe we take a break, yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, my motivation today is like zero and Ruggie just feels the same. <laughs> so I'm having for lunch this hamburger rice 
pepper blend mix that I made for dinner last night and a roll and some water. I'm just watching vlogs and having a chill day. I still need to come to the dishwasher and um, do my workout, have a shower. So lots to do. Just don't feel like doing it. So that's fun. But we're chucking along. It's good to have these days every now and then and enjoy myself. Also, there's a major Facebook and Instagram outage right now, so that's fun because I just posted my pancake recipe to Instagram and then it like, I can't even see. I mean, obviously no one liked it because of the outage, but it's still going on. And I was really worried that it was my Instagram, but I Googled it and there's an actual outage, so hopefully that gets taken care of soon. Just another Sunday in Southern California. It's where the people came to play. Don't let them transform you. rented our house out for the month um, and before they left they cleaned everything so that's why I don't really need to clean today but um, but they also replaced things that they used so if they used our cleaner then they replaced it which was super super kind of them so she left me this clean free deep cleaning mist from mr. clean and it's so cool like the spray like look at that spray you just like kind of spray it around. It's lavender. I'm sure it's probably a little more expensive because of the nozzle than the other cleaners, but I really like it. It works really, really well. Um, and it's for targeted coverage and keep pumping for continuous coverage. Works at every angle, so you can spray it upside down. And it says bath, kitchen, and stainless steel. So this is really good. Probably gonna be hooked on this now. So I'm just throwing in a sheet pan meal. I have one sweet potato, a bunch of baby carrots, and a red pepper. I was gonna do two sweet potatoes, but I threw in the carrots instead. It's a very random mix, but it's what we have. And then the two pork chops, these are from Costco. And on the uh, vegetables, I put olive oil, garlic, mint, mint chili, um, and salt and pepper. I also took a shower and applied self tanner so it's developing, not that you can really see it, but um, I got the Bondi Sands one, being Bondi Sands, Bondi Sands, um, because it was on clearance or on sale at Shoppers when I was there a while ago. So this is my second time using it. The first time I didn't have enough time to let it develop because we were going out. So I showered it off after like only like an hour and a half or two hours and it's ultra dark so i'm excited to see what it looks like and how good it is if it's streaky or whatever so um i'll let you guys know if i like it but anyways thanks for spending the past two days with me um i'm gonna leave it off here and i will bring you along with me to get my hair done tomorrow i'm so excited i can't wait to freshen it up and to have it a little short, I'll probably get it like this much off, I think. So stay tuned for that and I will talk to you in the next one.